Well, it rained for a good solid week every day, and of course we appreciated the rain because we've uh, needed rain for quite a while. But Sunday night is really when too much rain came, rivers and lakes coming up over roads, and as the water rushed over those roads more, roads just sw sweeping away, so there was no road anymore. It happened pretty fast, and within two hours we were up this high, and then another two hours we were up this high. Uh, it was amazing to see huge tractor-trailer trucks. They all piled up on the bridge, and there were four or five of them right there on top of each other. And I just to think about the massive amount of water that has to rush under those. Well, the house was here. That garage was where the house was. My camper in the back was between the house and the garage. Well, it just totally flooded, you know, up to the rooftops and, and most of them and everybody lost, lost most everything they had. When I first seen it, it was totally underwater, all but about that much of the roof. And then I didn't come back over till the water went down because it's too hard to look at. As you see the damage of people's homes when they're taking out all of their belongings and laying them on the front lawn, you think there are people down here with real needs right now. We'd like to pray with you guys if it's okay. Before we leave. I think one of the best things about what we do is we become the hands of Christ as we go out with volunteers and help people. They want to know why we are doing this, and we are able to tell them we're doing this because of what Christ did for us and the example he gave us with the story of the Good Samaritan. And that opens all sorts of doors to share the gospel, to share the good news with folks who need a bit of it. Lord, let them feel your presence each and every day. We pray these things in the mighty name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You know, all, the, all of what we have brought down, it costs money to get this here. It costs money to feed the volunteers, to provide tools. And that's where people can help out who can't come to pray and to provide financial resources for us to do this.